I began to write self-forgiveness and speak self-forgiveness the latter part of 2007. I began to actually apply it to the beginning of 2008. And it became quite clear to me how through the beliefs that I had of myself, I would walk as that belief as if I was mining for gold or something because I was always looking for a purpose or an outcome for myself to experience here in my reality. And it became very obvious to me through applying self-forgiveness, through stopping and breathing, that self-honesty actually blooms as you're applying self-forgiveness. And as such, you begin to release these beliefs that you've existed as. You begin to realize that you've existed within these beliefs according to the outcome. In other words, what experience you were looking to achieve for yourself. Whether your outcome is based on receiving some sort of um, salvation or redemption or out of fear of becoming your worst part of yourself, like becoming this devil that you know that you hold inside you. What I begin to see is that my outcome that I was searching, seeking for, was all based on self-interest and ego and greed. So self-forgiveness assists you to actually see yourself in self-honesty where you can actually see an outcome of yourself and all life based on equality within an understanding to be able to trust yourself and as so you begin to trust each other as yourself. Through self-forgiveness we begin to actually not judge the world but we do not accept the systems that are here that enslave us the systems of money, the system of profit and gain, the systems of education and health care, the systems of knowledge and information and sex, and not being able to direct ourselves according to living an actual application of knowledge and information through self-honesty first, as all is one is equal. So I began to apply the self-forgiveness tools as was offered through Destiny Universe. And I began to walk. And I first realized that I hadn't been breathing. And if I'm not breathing, I'm not actually living. And instead, I'm only existing within and as my mind. It is first to stop the thoughts and to release yourself from the emotional and feeling attachments to the thoughts in which that we react to within ourselves. Because every time we react with emotions or feelings, we charge, you know, the entire mind consciousness system, which is every single one of us that exist here. So it's a process of silencing the mind and self-forgiveness, walking and self-honesty actually assists you to become aware of yourself and so you're able to stop addictions and habits. It's as simple as I forgive myself that I have accepted and allowed myself to accept my world as it currently exists, to exist within a belief that I am not able, that I'm not capable of beginning in facing myself in self-honesty in order to see what is here and to see what I've become within what I've accepted and what I've allowed. I forgive myself that I accepted and allowed myself to exist in self-defeat, lacking a purpose, only that of self-ego, self-compromise. 
and instead I stand, I face me, in self honesty, as all as one is equal, in order to bring about a world where equality exists for all living beings.